Hey Glam Crew, it's me, Nikki the Glam Teacher. So today's video will be a post-op Q&A. I am um, only answering questions that I have gotten since I have been post-op. Um, a lot of other questions can be found and answered in past videos that I have made. Um, today I am about 12 weeks post-op. I will be three months post-op July 21st. July 21st I will be um, three months post-op. I had surgery in the Dominican Republic on April 21st. I went to Dr. Mignon and my BMI was a 36 and I just had a tummy tuck and side lipo. He did not flip me over. Um, a lot of people have asked me if I'm going to go back and get a round two. I don't know. I wouldn't totally be against it, but um, I don't know. And surgery is expensive, y'all. I got a video breaking down the cost of how much I paid. Um, and I also have a video about saving for surgery because in DR, you cannot use um, credit cards or you can use debit cards. Some doctors, there is a way you can kind of use um, care credit. I do have a video on that and how you can make that work towards your benefit. But let's get into this Q&A, y'all. Let's get into this. Also, um, so a lot of these questions people have asked me came from my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is glam underscore teacher, G-L-A-M underscore teacher. Uh, yeah, go follow me. <laughs> uh, first question, what items did you really use and what didn't you need? Okay, so you will need wipes baby wipes and i use the feminine care wipes for like my private area and those came in handy when i had an accident myself i think i was like a day post-op and the night crew did not put me in the shower and all i could do was use them little feminine wipes but they came through and i was not stanking down there i wasn't fishy none of that now i was pissy that morning when i got up but y'all they put me in the shower i'm gonna answer that question next so uh, pads, you need pads. You can use the poise pads. You can use always pads. You can use off-brand pads, as long as they're thick. Now, I've seen some people recommend getting the pads you would use for like a pet, an animal. Don't do that because they have some type of toxin or chemical that kind of produces when it's wet that turns the material to like a gel. I don't think that's safe for you, especially post-op. I wouldn't do that. Lipofoam. At first, I did not have lipofoam in my faja, and I got a little faja burn like right above my belly button. So go ahead and get that foam and bring it in those pads because you will need that most importantly, along with like your daily hygiene, personal um, care items, and your pills and medicine. Bring that. I did not use robe. I did not use robe, but I did use like, I brought two dresses because people were telling me, you're not going to leave a lot of clothes. You won't need it. You won't need it. Yeah, I had to borrow a dress from one of my roommates because I was leaving the house to go out and get my massages. And then I was leaving the house to go out to use the oxygen chamber. So if you're going to be going out for those things, you may need to bring a little bit more clothes. And I stayed there for 18 days. So if you stay in for seven days, you're going to use the in-house masseuse, you're not going out to do oxygen chamber treatments, then you may be okay with using a little bit of clothes, just bringing a little bit. So there y'all go. I did not use the female urinal, the PEZ, the other little urinal device. Use the toilet backwards. Use the toilet backwards. You will not pee on yourself. It's a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're having a tummy tug, you will be good. And I did not use that, um, the Perry wash bottle, or you could get like a ketchup bottle to like squeeze up into your vagina and private areas to help clean you out. I did not use that, okay? So don't, don't bother with it, all right? Now that brings me to the second question that I got. Um, did you shower in the DR? Is it safe to shower there? It's safe to shower there, y'all. I got in the shower and I loved it. Now, the thing with that, though, you do not want to get in the shower and get your open wounds wet. 
okay whatever bacteria or water filtration system they have it's not good to get your wounds wet um, while you're still healing like your belly button lipo hose um, your tummy tuck scar do not get it wet so I didn't get the BBL so it was okay for me to let the water run down my bag and like my legs and my feet and then what they would do the recovery house staff would wet the rag wet my top half and then wet the rag again wash it out wet it then put soap on it kind of squeeze out the water and then wipe over me and then they will rinse the rag plus wash the rag out then rinse it again then squeeze most of the water out and like clean me off and then they would wash the rag with soap, rinse it with the water, washing the rag, rinsing it, and then pretty much dry it, and then wipe me dry. So you constantly rinsing and washing the rag out to first wet yourself, you know, just moisten it up a little bit, and then wash, and then to rinse, and then to dry. Was that three, four times? Boom. Um, when I got home, I still did not get in the shower with the running water over me. I didn't do that until I was about eight weeks post-op I want to say and even then I used waterproof band-aids to cover up my belly button and then I had a small little area on my side of my tummy tuck that was open and still healing I would cover that up with a waterproof band-aid um, next question extra costs or fees that you encountered um, creams and medicine I did not buy my doctor's medication package um, I was advised if I bring all of that stuff with me, I won't need to buy the medication package. Uh, I still needed the, hep the heparin shots, heparin injections, and it was unclear what my doctor recommended. Like, did I need 10 shots, six shots, you know? So the recovery house kind of just ordered it based on what most doctors use, okay? Now, if you've been keeping up with my surgery journey, you know how my experience was with my doctor. I wasn't getting responses from them. I was not giving any post-op care instructions. When I did just pop up, when I popped up at the office, um, them changing my bandages was just off the chain, just ripping stuff off, like, mm -mm, no. So uh, my recovery house just did what they, what they thought was best, and I just kind of like told them, like, no, don't do this or do that, you know, based on my past research and people that I've known that had surgery. Thank God for that. Um, so be prepared to buy creams. If you get a burn, you're going to need cream. That little tube, it goes by quick, okay? Um, extra medication, extra antibiotics, um, transportation. I ended up spending a lot of money on transportation, but then I got smart and started to use Uber. And using Uber to get back and forth to my massages and stuff was a lot cheaper. And then the recovery house food was good, but you know, every now and then I just wanted to taste of something different. So I did spend money on food. Now you might not have those costs. You might not have complications, but I didn't have any complications pretty much so you won't spend a lot of money on extra fees you can be good with your little six seven thousand dollars go get your body done and be good so next question what is your best advice for post-op care um, best advice continue to take your vitamins and pills your vitamins iron and supplements after surgery continue to take it uh, for the most part, I'm done taking vitamins and stuff. I still I still take a um, multi a woman's multivitamin daily multivitamin, and I still take um, a skin vitamin like collagen, biotin, hair, skin, and nail peels. I take that. Um, my skin was super dry and peeling like a snake after surgery. So get that um, a vitamin. Get your skin together. Um, continue to take that. Get lymphatic drops. Also, do not skip out on your massages or be cheap. Get those massages. Um, wear your faja. Best advice, wear your faja. If it's uncomfortable to you, get it altered. If you feel like it's too tight and you can't breathe, just unbutton the first little snaps at the top. Just unbutton it a little bit or put it on the first hook, but then the part like on your midsection, try to get that um, as tight as you can that's to where it's comfortable for you. But listen to your body too. If something is too tight, go back to your old faja for a day. So like I had two fajas. When I would get a faja taken in and smaller, I would try it and wear it. If it felt too uncomfortable, took it off and I would go back to my old faja on the third hook. Okay. Um, also, another good uh, tip is make sure the recovery house shows you how to actually care for yourself once you go home. You should sort of know, have an idea of what to do before you even go for surgery. 
but make sure you understand how to keep your incisions clean, what signs to look for, how to change the drain. If you miss an appointment or your massage gets canceled, how to self-massage yourself. Make sure you get help from Recovery House and you know before you come back home what to do. Don't be afraid to ask them questions. Um, who does your massages? So I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Nina and a girl named Stephanie did my massages. Nina's Instagram is ATL Nina. So that's A T L N E N A. And then Stephanie, she's a mobile uh, therapist. She will come to you and bring everything with her. Her Instagram is genie.uncut. So that's G E N I E dot uncut. I was supposed to spell that. U N C U T T T. Three T. Would you recommend your doctor? So listen, y'all. I would recommend him if you don't mind a doctor that does not have good bedside manner. Um, if you don't mind that the communication is slow and that they just really may not respond to you and you have to jump through hoops to reach out to them. I didn't know when I was going to do my lab work. Once I landed in DR, I didn't know when I was going to do my lab work. I didn't know when I was going to have surgery, what time to show up. I didn't know when my first post-op visit was going to be. I didn't know what to bring to the appointment and I'm messaging them and they read my message, not respond, or not even read my message and not respond. And I had to like go through the recovery house, go through my massage person, go through the, da -da -da. it was just, it was crazy. So if you don't mind your doctor being that way, then hey, he did good on my tummy tuck. So if you was like, look, cut me, do what you need to do. I'm gonna go my way, you can go your way, bam, good. But also be advised, he is not a one round and done doctor. So more than likely, you are going to need a round two. And it's not because, oh, he does bigger girls. Most bigger girls need more than two rounds. No. I, I feel like about 85% of his dolls end up getting a round two. Um, like for instance, I feel like my size might have been like a little bit more. He could have maybe did this than the other, but for whatever safety reason or whatever, it didn't get done. That's cool. Um, I'm satisfied with myself. My main concern is gone, but I feel like I got a little bit of, they might be dog ears or something, but lipo and getting a BBL or hip dips filled in would fix that. See? And you know, you can look at before and after pictures. I wasn't no horrible case. Like, so. But hey, next question. When can you resume adult activities? Well, the doctor, most doctors, I'm not gonna say my doctor because his ass did not recommend nothing. He barely spoke to me. But they say six to 12 weeks or once you're comfortable, once you are healed, do it. Hey, your faha hole is open, do you. If you feel uncomfortable, stop. You're an adult. You've got common sense. Next question. When can you get a round two? So round two, you can usually get that four to six months after your first round. Um, some of the girls in my recovery house, like that went to Dr. Mercedes. Dr. Mercedes advised them, you can come back in three months. Three months might be a little too soon, but okay. And then some doctors like Medina, Medina, she advised at least six months. So there you go. I answered that question, am I getting around two? Did your clothing size change? So my clothing size did not really change. Like my waist is super small now. Um, my hips have always been big. So now I have to find clothes that fit over my hips, but then it's like loose in the waist. So um, kind of got to get that altered but it doesn't feel bad. I just wear a lot of stretch clothes anyways. So there you go, get stretch clothes. That can be tight on your waist since your waist will be small. And then that can stretch for your hips and your butt. And wear a lot of two pieces. Uh, I'm probably like a medium large on top. And then my bottoms is like an extra large. So I wear 16, 18 on the bottom and then whatever top it is on the top. 
when I get dresses, I get mediums. I want it to be tight on my waist. Or you can always get it taken in. My faja, like my faja is an extra large, but I got the waist taken into a small. So if that helps. Um, did you lose weight after surgery? No, I did not. I gained, <laughs> I gained weight. Yeah, I gained weight, y'all. After surgery, that recovery house food was good. And I wanted my money works. Give me all the food. I need my snacks. I need it all. So I am actually in the process of losing weight, y'all. Um, I'm taking phenamine. I'm not even about to purpose say I'm dieting and exercising. Um, I got phenamine, so I'm going to update that. I'm going to do an update video on the phenamine. And since July 1st, I have lost like six pounds, six, seven pounds. And we are at July 10th, maybe. So, yeah. 10 days, lost six pounds. Next question, best Faja. So when I was in DR, I went to Alexander Faja. They have just about all your Faja needs. You can try it on right then and there. They can custom make it, or you can get like um, a standard Faja and then just have the waist taken in, which is what I did. Next question, was the oxygen chamber worth it? Yes. It was worth it. Um, I had minimum bruising. Like a lot of girls at the recovery house, they had bruising and their doctors recommended them to go to the oxygen chamber, whereas I had already went. So I didn't have a lot of bruising. And then the cream, I just rubbed a little cream on and it went away fast. And I'm not a smoker, so. And my tummy tuck star looks good. It's almost matching my skin, so yeah. Next question, has life changed after surgery? For me, not really because nothing really drastically changed with my body, which is kind of why I think I went around too because I don't want to be average. And people already tell me like, oh, you're not average. Your body is like, and I'm like, no, I need it like. <laughs> but, and then others are like, well, you do that to your butt, then that's going to outshine your personality. And I'm like, no. But I don't know. So we'll see. Um, but nothing really changed for me after surgery. I don't go out much for people to treat me differently. I do get weird, slick comments from um, friends, family members. Um, but just ignore it. They probably, you know, want surgery and just don't. Um, no. But nothing's really changed just yet. And maybe because I just haven't got out the house too much. But I'm about to start getting out more. Maybe in Mexico, things were a little bit easier. Because I didn't have a fupa in the way. Um, it was easy for me to just go somewhere and ask for something. And people just give it to me. And I not pay for it. Like, I went to the restaurant a couple times. and got food. And it was already cheap there. But they're like, here, it's on the house, baby. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, ooh. So, or it could have been my personality. <laughs> next question how is your belly button healing my belly button is healing good i don't like that it's dark sorry y'all the sun really i don't like how it's dark around my belly button but i got some skin lightener cream not the cream that i use on my tummy tuck but a different uh cream um kind of like ambi you know ambi the soap um i'm gonna put that it, well it is ambi i'm gonna put that on it and see if it lightens up so it can match my skin i don't want a dark belly button Kind of move over here so I'm not so much in the sun. Next question. Um, how to help with swelling? So swelling, y'all. I, I really didn't have a lot of swelling. And I think that maybe because maybe because I did not have a lot of lipo done. I just had, you know, the cut, and I think the lipo is what really gives you the swelling, the process of that. Um but swelling, I took Arnica tablets. And you know how the dose says however many pellets? I like double. So I like triple. I would just pop Arnica pills just because. So take your Arnica, your Arnica tea. Um, I did ibuprofen sometimes. Ibuprofen 800 that I got from my doctor. That's really good for inflammation. I wore my compression socks maybe like two weeks when I came home. I might have took them off too early. And that's when I started. My feet and ankles would swell up. Put my compression socks back on and I was good, y'all. Prop my feet up in the bed in the bed. I used a heating pad on my back. Um, and getting your faja taken in, that's important too. Because you don't have nothing compressing on you. That's your faja's too big. 
So to get that swelling down and get that extra fluid out, you need to be pushing it in so you can pee it out, pee it out. That's how you get it swelling down pretty much. You pee it out or sweat it out. I don't know who's going to sit in the sauna after surgery, but the sun's bright. Um, next question, how do you help the lipo itch? So there's um, a can of Dermoplast. There's a blue can. One is like a first aid uh, spray and the other one is for itching. So you can get the blue can, spray it on you and that'll help with itching. I took Benadryl like right after surgery. Um, sometimes when it'll itch, just that blue can of spray will help Dermoplast. And then I notice when my skin is dry, I just need to rub a little bit of rose hip oil and bio oil i just mix that together rub that on me and i feel better no more itch but internally sometimes it just be you just don't have to <laughs> get through it you just don't have to ignore it um number well i don't know what number we on but next question when to stop wearing faja i guess listen to your doctor but if you got a doctor like mine that ain't told you nothing is not responding then just do what you feel is best, listen to your body. If you're still swelling up and it's painful after taking your faja off and after an hour, you just feel like you're bloated and your skin is just stretching, I don't know how to describe it, but you should put back on your faja. Um, I am, like I said, I'm 12 weeks. I'm done wearing my faja. I stopped wearing it like two weeks ago. I might put it on at nighttime just I think for me, it's like a comfort thing because my body just got used to being like held tight by my faja, but it's not necessary for me anymore. Um, it's not compressing anything. My body is molded already from my doctor, it's sculpted from my doctor. Um, there's nothing really to mold. Mm, now on my lower size where it feels like I got like dog ears, I might try wearing my faja and putting like towel and lipophone and pads on there, see if it'll push it down along with me losing weight and see how that goes. But if not, then it's really, I'm gonna update y'all and say it's no point in wearing a faja unless you're swelling or if you just like the feeling of being wrapped up in your faja, then be, your, be my guest, okay? There's no right or wrong to it. My massage person told me you need to wear it for a year. And um, she said for my best results, my friend that has surgery, she advised to wear it. And I don't have a problem not wearing my faja. It's not uncomfortable for me. If your faja is uncomfortable, you more than likely just need to get it altered. Even though my faja is a extra large, my thighs are big. So I had to take it to a place and get it altered and she added two inches onto my thighs. And so it fits perfect. Um, so if something's uncomfortable, say something, go to an alteration, alter, in place and get it fixed so you can be in your faja. Um, when did you start feeling normal and could do things better? So I didn't start feeling normal until recently, honestly. Like when I went to Mexico about two weeks ago, I was nervous about flying and I didn't swell up. I didn't experience much swelling there and I was eating salt and drinking alcohol. Um, but I once I came back from Mexico, I'm like, I'm good. Like, I can bend, I can stretch. I try not to lift heavy items. Y'all see my tan from Mexico? My little tan. Try not to lift heavy items. I haven't started working out yet. But, you know, your insides take a little bit longer to heal versus on the outside. So even though I feel okay and I look okay, your insides are still healing. So, you know, just give yourself grace. Give yourself time don't overdo it like i can't go to the club <laughs> thursday friday saturday sunday like i used to um i could probably go out like one night and when i go out i can't go out to like a little club i have to go to the after hour after that so when i go out i don't get home till like five in the morning um but if i did just do like a light little club thing then I might could survive two nights in a row but i'm not about to like force my body to do all that and then when i go out i'm up dancing i rarely sit so glam crew this sun is killing me i answered all of the questions that i was asked if i did not get to your question go ahead and send me a message on instagram oh look at this good skin y'all thank you mommy and daddy 
Um, but yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you have any other questions, do not be afraid to ask me because I am an open book. If I can't give you the answer, I will advise you of someone who can probably help you better than I can, okay? We are in this together. Surgery community is like, it's all we got because don't nobody really be telling us much. It's a lot of tips and tricks that that are out there and people just don't be sharing a lot of information like, I don't know why, but it, it is a way how you approach people like girls that's in my inbox saying you need to do this or not. Mm -mm. Block, delete. So take care, Glam Crew.